Okay, just going to work on the jib boom and the main boom. Uh, so there's a few points on here that need to be strengthened. So I'm just going to mix up some 30 minute epoxy right there. And we're just going to coat a little bit on the edges here just to secure it and it doesn't come loose. So on the jib, it's where the attachment point is there. And on the main, we're going to do where the... Um, this little metal uh, boom van connects onto that area as well as where the sheeting line comes out to. Okay, now one thing to point out, uh, and Joy's Way has been very good about uh, warranty on this, is on the boom attachment, sometimes the edges crack, and on this one here, it has cracked, so I'm going to be um, sanding that down and uh, applying a coat of uh, epoxy on it too, just to strengthen it. I did contact um, Joy's Way within uh, 30 days and uh, I sent them a picture of it and they were very good about um, sending me a replacement within uh, basically uh, two, three days I got a new one. So, uh, But for now, I think I'm going to try and use this one and uh, put a coat of uh, I'm going to sand it down a little bit, just roughen it up, and then I'll coat it with uh, some of this epoxy. Okay. Okay, there, just uh, going to show you what happens with this little boom vang fitting when it cracks. So you see it just kind of goes into pieces there. Um, I pulled the bearings out. Now, you notice that was the bearing in the bottom, closest to the hull. That's the one on top. Obviously one's going to be rusted. I sail in uh, salt water majority of the time. So what I have done is I have some of this stuff here, which uh, is made by the same people that do Corrosion X. And it's called Speed X. It's for uh, ball bearing. So um, I do have it on my new boat, uh, the one that I've been building in this video and uh, it is very slippery stuff and it also provides some corrosion protection so uh, definitely something um, worthwhile getting but speed x and uh, more on corrosion x later but for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean these ball bearings up i think they're still good so i will um, put some of this stuff on and i will fix that now, this is on my new boat, and that's the boom vang that I just treated with. Uh, I sanded down and treated with a 50, or excuse me, 30 minute epoxy. So uh, I've had it out, uh, sailed for I uh, probably about three hours on the new boat right now. And um, as you can tell, it is in really good condition. So. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, just overcoating it with epoxy there so that uh, so that you don't get that cracking just gives that extra level of strength too um, on the Dragon Force there's uh, this is a very high stress area because everything that happens the power of the sail you know you don't have um, you don't have like the side wires and stuff like that that uh, um, that kind of shape the the mass and all. Every, everything that happens on the mass happens all just down the one mass, and then you've got the one backstay. So that's uh, that's my comment on that. Definitely do that treatment, you guys. Um, highly recommend it. Okay, so I got some of this 30-minute uh, epoxy here mixed up, and I got a trusty old paintbrush. And I have the new one from Joy's Way there. Um, I've taken some uh, sandpaper, it looks like it's uh, 220 grit, and I've sanded, just kind of scruffed it up. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint a somewhat thin coat of that on there. 
So that will prep that. Oops. Sorry, got away from the video there. And that should add a bit of strength to it. Okay, I've reassembled the, the other one there. And uh, I am going to Okay, so that boom vang repair is going through right now, and uh, I'm just waiting for it's 30 minute epoxy, so just waiting for it to uh, cure. And I'm just going to talk about the sheet runs for a sec. This is my original boat here, and I when I was tying the sheet runs, these ones right here, I made the loop really big. That's uh, probably one finger hole, hole worth. And uh, what ends up happening is when you let the sheet out all the way, it ends up getting this little knot here gets caught in the little uh, ring. It's not so much a uh, factor on the jib, but uh, for the mainsail, it always gets caught on the ring and then um, it either does it holds your uh, holds your main in. Uh, when you really want it at you know 80 90 degrees uh, so it's gonna be a factor when it's um, it's light winds so I definitely want to correct that and so on the new boat I made a point of trying to get it as small as it can be so that's pretty well half the half the size of that that other one there. Um, so just a little tip there. Okay, so we're gonna go through some rigging. Uh, I'm not gonna do all of it, but I'll give you some tips on it. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, the sheet lead first. And what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll feed it through as per the instructions. Uh, the reason why I start with the sheet lead is because I, I, I kinda wanna make that loop as small as it can be um, and then with this excess it'll be easier to to trim and and kind of shape it for the um, uh, when the sails fully out and you know adjust the boises and stuff like that so um, so we're just gonna make this loop right now so we're trying to go as small as we can be and all it's all it's going to be is a uh, figure eight knot is what I usually like to make. So I'll just loop it around. So as you can see there, it is not the easiest thing to do, but I have a little trick. So what we're going to do is we'll make the, we'll start the loop off like that, go around the tree with it. And since I can't quite get it through the main hole there, I'm going to use this little wire. I was going to show you guys this a little bit later, but I'm going to take this little wire, put it through the hole so it connects like that. So it connects the main hole and and then I'm going to put the wire back through the main hole like that. Okay, so it has a piece of that and you see how it's kind of pulling through right now? So now, uh, it's going to create my figure eight loop for the main. And there you have it. Okay, so that technique I'm going to be using uh, as we're doing the rigging. 
uh, definitely cut off the excess now. You know, I've got kind of stubby fingers, so it, so that little wire helps me thread the stuff through quite easily. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. And I'll hit that with a little bit of CA. So it doesn't slip anymore. Just like that. Wipe off any excess. And I'm going to carefully burn off the frayed edge there. All right, so we're just gonna gently put that and not go too far with it or else you're gonna have to start it all over again. So just clean it up. So there we go. There's our, uh, now this connects onto the, the lead out from the sheets. Now what we have to develop here now is, see it goes through the boom. This is, that. So this goes to uh, the power mechanism to the winch. Okay, so I, I'm sure you know you got this flexible wire and, or rope and you're trying to put it through this very tight little uh, plastic piece. So the tip that I have for you guys is basically you pinch it near the top so it develops a bit of a cavity and you take a very small thin wire and put it through first like that so it goes through. Pull it through enough and what you want to do is put it back through, create a bit of a loop. So you see it's gone through there. And uh, you put the Put the rope, the string through it there, and you're gonna pull that through. So as you can see, that is how you get it through when you've got really stubby fingers and such. All right, so from here, you can start working on your bowie. Cozy. So same kind of thing. If it doesn't, uh, if it, if it's too hard to feed through. Okay, so that is. So what we're gonna do is just get a little wire, trusty little wire with a little loop on it, and put it through there. It's a little too thick. So put through one end. Close it off so there's a bit of a loop there. We're gonna take our little rope, put it through that hole, like that. And we're just gonna pull it through, like that. And do the same on the, the middle hole. Here, we're gonna put it through this. Sorry for the shadows, you guys. Okay, and uh, there you have it. So now what we're gonna do is when our boom bang fitting here is ready. I will take this and I'll put it on the boat to make sure I tie this off properly. So for now, 
I'm just going to feed it through and just kind of tie it off for now and then I'll adjust it with a knot after. And I'm just, just so that it's ready to go, so I'm just going to tie a bit of a knot here. Okay.